This is RD Sharma Solution Class 12th, Chapter 11 Differentiation, MCQ Multiple Choice Question we are taking. So every question will have four options and most of the question we have already covered in our previous discussions. So those who have idea, they can, uh, you know, solve by themselves for those who need a little uh, advice for them the answer is already being shown but those who want to understand how it is being is to be done let us see so fx is given as it is fx is log the base is x square and then log x so we have already seen this kind of thing log a b that is a is base so we can write it as log b by log a and second thing, one more important thing will come. I'll just show you. But let us uh, first write it as log, log x and divided by log x square. Now this log x square, as I said, one more property of log is the power comes in front. So it will be b log a in this case. So here in the denominator, you will have log log x divided by 2 log x. Okay. Now let us do the differentiation, which is f dash x. Two will talk about that because it will remain like that. So we are going to differentiate log log x divided by log x. It is to be done using the quotient rule. Log x whole square in the denominator. Here we have log x. Now differentiation of log log x. So log log x, so 1 by log x and the differentiation of log x will be 1 by x minus then we have log log x already done. Differentiation of log x we have to do. So it will be 1 by x. Okay. Now what, what can we do? We have to find out the f dash x at x equals e. So let us resolve it more. Log x, log x gets cancelled. This is 1 by x, 1 by x. We can take 1 by x common. And 2 is already there. This is 1 by x already taken so 1 minus log log x divided by log x whole square. So what you have to do is put x as e. So we have 1 by 2 into e. Here we have 1 minus log and log x and x is e. What is e? Log e, e is 1. I'll just show you how we are doing this because log base is e and we, we have log again base e with e. So e that is what e to the power 1 is e only. So this log e, e will be 1. So this is 1. So log e 1. So this is going to be uh, 0. This log e 1. Log e, e is 1. Uh, is a uh, 1 and then log e1 is the first thing I'm saying is the base. Okay. So log base e1 is 0. So 1 minus 0 divided by what is log e, e again 1. So 1 minus 0 by 1 square. So this is simply equal to 1 by 1. So you will only get 1 by 2 e. 1 by 2 e is the result. Let me tell you again e to the power of 0 is 1. So log base e1 is coming like this. So finally this numerator denominator will be 1 by 1 which is going to be 1 only. So only 1 by 2 e will remain and that's your final answer. The differential coefficient of f log x with respect to x where fx equals to log x is. Now fx is given as this log x. Now we have to find out the differential coefficient. So it's, it's related to differential equation. In place of x, when you put log x, it will be log here also log x. So log log x. In place of x, we are replacing it by log x. So we will find f dash x, which is f, f dash log x in this case. The differentiation of log log x is what? 1 by log x. And then differentiation of log x is 1 by x. So it will be 1 by x log x. So this is f dash x log x. 
and x dot x log x if you take it uh, if you transfer it in to the numerator it will be x log x to the power minus 1 this is your answer the derivative of the function cot inverse under root cos 2x y is equal to cot inverse under root cos 2x you can write it as the power of half half also under root is nothing but power of half and it is a cos 2x to the power half if you have x to the power half that does that only means under root x we are talking about and we have to find out at x equals to pi by 3 which is 30 degree now let us take dy by dx which is cot inverse is simply minus 1 by 1 plus x square so minus 1 by 1 plus x square what is x square under root cos 2x whole square which is cos 2x only so cos 2x now differentiation of under root cos 2x now under root cos 2x anything with the power half is 1 by twice of under root of that thing so let me show you this it is basically n x to the power n minus 1 kind of things so we have next one is minus cos 2x differentiation is minus sin 2x and the differentiation of 2x is 2. So finally what you will get this cos 2x minus half will go in the denominator under root cos 2x 2 2 gets cancelled negative will be there. So this whole I have told you the differentiation of under root cos 2x. So this minus is already there. So this minus minus if you write it like this minus sin 2x divided by under root cos 2x minus minus gets cancelled you have sin 2x divided by Okay, we can do one thing. Sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x. Sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square x by 2, which is 2x, so it will be only x. So 2 cos square x. Now we may cancel this 2 and 2 and cos and cos. So under root cos 2x this is, so cos cos gets cancelled. And this sin by cos can be written as 10x. 10x divided by under root cos 2x. Now this is dy by dx but we need to find it for x equals to pi by 6. x is pi by 6 which is 30 degree. So 10 pi by 6, 10 30 degree divided by under root cos 2 into pi by 6 which is going to be pi by 3. Pi by 3 is 60 degree. So cos 60 degree and tan 30 degree. Tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. Cos pi by 3 which is uh, half. So it will be half under root of half. So 1 by root 3 divided by 1 by root 2. Now this goes up. So under root 2 divided by under root 3 which is nothing but 2 by 3 to the power half. 2, 2, the, 2 to the power half, uh, 3 to the power half which is 2 by 3 to the power half. So you can choose the uh, right choice here. Differential coefficient of sec tan inverse x. Again the differential equation. So there will be a differential equation being formed. It will be formed and you will see what I'm, uh, the answer is to be. Y is sec tan inverse x. So dy by dx is. So sec of this is what? Sec is sec theta is sec theta tan theta. So whatever is inside it will be sec that thing and tan that thing. So sec tan inverse x, sec theta and tan theta. So tan, tan inverse x. Now this tan inverse x differentiation is 1 by 1 plus x square. So 1 by 1 plus x square. So these two are in the bracket. Okay. Now sec tan inverse x is what? It is y only because from where we have started it is y. This is y. You can write y in this case in place of this. Stand tan inverse you can cancel only x will remain here and 1 by 1 plus x square already is there. So 1 by 1 plus x square. So this is a form of differential equation dy by dx is equal to x by 1 plus x square into y. So when we have the differential equation like this the differential coefficient of this sec tan inverse x will be what x by 1 plus x square all right oh there is under root also sorry sorry there is there is under root 
no there there is to so this is going to be your answer okay now fx is tan inverse under root 1 plus sin x by 1 minus sin x so this is between 0 x and pi by 2 so we have f inverse 30 degree pi by 6 is 30 degree so we'll just use the you know trigonometric uh, identities which we know fx is tan inverse under root 1 plus sin x sin x see cos 90 plus theta and cos 90 minus theta both will give you sin but one is positive one is negative so sin x can be written as cos pi by 2 plus x because cos pi by 2 plus x will give you the negative sin pi sin x so in place of sin x you can write cos pi by 2 plus x because cos 90 plus theta is minus sin theta and minus minus will become plus so it will be eventually equal to 1 plus sin theta only so 1 plus sin x we can write so we can write 1 minus cos pi by 2 plus x in this case and then the denominator we have 1 minus sin x simply same thing we can write cos pi by 2 plus x which you will which will again give you some negative negative sin x and because we need positive in the denominator we ought to have a negative in between so we can write 1 minus sin x as 1 plus cos pi by 2 plus x this is the best way to write now why we have done this because 1 plus cos 2 theta or 1 plus cos theta we know the formation of that 1 minus cos whatever angle is there 1 minus cos theta if i write it is 2 sin square theta by 2 and 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 2 Uh, one is two sine square theta by two. One is two cos square theta by two. One plus cos theta is this. So one minus cos pi by two plus x can be written as two sine square pi by four plus x by two because pi by two plus x divided by two is nothing but multiplication of two half half. So pi by four plus x by two it will be. So two sine square pi by four plus x by two. Denominator you have two cos square pi by four plus x by two. 2 2 you can cancel under root is there sin square by cos square is tan square so tan square pi by 4 plus x by 2 is there pi by 4 plus x by 2 and since we have an under root this under root can cancel the square so you will get tan pi by 4 plus x by 2 all right so we have tan inverse you can cancel this tan and tan inverse fx is there so it will be pi by 4 plus x by 2 Now we haven't done the differentiation up till now. This is still still f x. Now we have to do f dash x now. F dash x is what differentiation of pi by four plus x by two. Pi by four plus x by two. Pi by four is a constant. It will give you zero. And x by two, so it will be only half. X x by two is only half. So f dash x is half here. D by d x. So f dash pi by six. Whatever you want to put, put, but the answer will remain same. It is a constant. It will be half. Value is half. Half. Y is equal to one plus one by x to the power x. So this is a question we have already done. And please remember the first option is one plus one by x. log log there is a log missing log 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 1 the first option you'll see why i'm saying this y is equal to 1 plus 1 by x to the power x whenever we have fx to the power gx form then we always take the log it will make us solution easier so this log y i'm taking log now so log y is x will come in front it will be x log 1 plus 1 by x x plus one plus one by x. So we have differentiation now one by y dy by dx is equal to these are two terms. So we will apply the product rule x log one plus one by x is one by one by one plus one by x and differentiation of one plus one by x is one is zero one by x is minus one by x square so minus one by x square it is. This is done like this. And then plus 
log 1 plus 1 by x will remain like that. And then we have the differentiation of x which is 1 only. Okay. So 1, 1 plus 1 by x in, is in the denominator. It will give you x plus 1 by x in the denominator. So when it goes in the numerator, it will be x by x plus 1. So x into x by x plus 1. This is x by x plus 1 x by x plus 1 and you have minus 1 by x square. So x square x square you can cancel now. Minus 1 by x plus 1 and plus log 1 plus 1 by x. Alright. So now we have this y also. It will go on the right hand side in the numerator. So let me write it here. 1 plus 1 by x to the power x which is given in the question. Uh, this can be rearranged just to match the answers what we need because there are four options and I indicated you earlier that the first option 1 plus 1 by 1 by x to the power x then we have a log then we have 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 1 which is matching our answer also. So this is matching our answer. If you see the last option also if you have a negative in between so log 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 1. That is why the first is the option. If you see there is, it can, if it is negative in the fourth option, it would have been the answer. But since there is a slight uh, misprint which is log 1 plus 1 by x in the first option, that's why the option will be first. Alright. So there are uh, things which we have already done. We have already taken uh, this in uh, advance. But uh, you just have to see the answer, find out the answer and match it. That's what, even if there is misprint or whatever, it doesn't matter. If x to the power y is equal to e to the power x minus y, then dy by dx is. So whenever it is there, take the log. This is the best option. So we have x to the power y is equal to e to the power x minus y take the log y log x is equal to x minus y log base e e is 1. So you can just simply write 1 in this case x minus y log base e e is 1 y log x. Now we'll differentiate. Oh no let us take y on the right hand side you will see y. y log x plus y I'm taking on the left hand side x will remain on the right. So y you can take common 1 y 1 plus log x is x. So this y equals x by 1 plus log x. Now differentiation will be through the quotient rule. Quotient rule. So 1 plus log x whole square in the denominator. 1 plus log x here. Differentiation of x will be 1. So I am not writing it. Minus x you can write directly like that. And 1 plus log x differentiation is what? 1 by x. 1 plus log x. Let me show you again. 1 is differentiated as 0. Log x is 1 by x. So 1 by x will come and xx gets cancelled. You will have a minus 1. So 1 plus log x minus 1. So only log x will come in the numerator. 1 plus log x minus 1. 1 1 gets cancelled. Log x in the numerator. Log x divided by 1 plus log x whole square. And that's your final answer. And which is the final option I said. I think this one. Okay. This is the answer.